Uh, slipped on hammer. Can't move. Ow! Kids, seriously this time, say no to drugs. You'll wake up behind the winking skeever, having to run across the street naked because you dumped your clothes across town last night. Whoa, what the hell? Uh... You're naked. Yeah, I... Why are you naked? I think I was just hot, so... This is a clothing shop. Yeah, that's... You can't be in a clothing shop naked. But... It defeats the whole point. Okay, but... Get out. But I need... Get your naked green butt out of here. Can I just... Go. Outside? Who ever heard of being naked in a clothing shop? This is the first, but... It doesn't make any sense. C can I have some clothes? What do you mean? I need to buy clothes. <laughs> you, you want to go shopping? Yeah. Naked? I... I guess. You want to shop naked well, in my store? Well, I need clothes, and, and you sell clothes. No. Come on. Nope. Why? No shoes, no shirt, no service. Why? Because naked shopping isn't allowed. What's the big deal? Are you serious? I think. Because for one, naked people don't have money. I have money. <laughs> That's the other thing. I don't even want to think where you were keeping that money. Uh. Get out. Naked? Fine, here, take these and get out. <sighs> Bloody tourists. Next scuba dealer I see, I'm gonna kill him twice. This is Rogue. Rogue likes two things treasure and killing. Rogue thinks this is where he tossed everything. Damn, stuff piles up. Finally, back in his armor. That is the last time he plays dress-up. Guess he should look for that madman now. Not sure where to even start looking. Maybe that guy knows. Please, take pity on an old madman. Well, that was easy. My master has abandoned me. Abandoned his people. And nothing I say can change his mind. Last I saw him, he went into the forbidden wing of the palace to speak with an old friend. Said it had been ages since they had last had tea. Oh, and you'll need the hip bone. It's very important. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. Hey, talking. Rogue loves talking. So Rogue has to go to the Pelagius wing and... something. We'll figure it out when he gets there. Hey, who does Rogue have to talk to about the Plagius Wing? I swear to you, unnatural magics are coming from that cave. There's hey! Strange noises and lights. You Forget him. Rogue was here first. Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hafengar's people will always... Can someone just give me the key? Your eminence. My scrying has suggested nothing in the area. Dragon Bridge is under Imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Yeah, listen to the obvious vampire. Perhaps a more tempered reaction? Might be called hey, attention to me. Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Hey, Falk, tell Captain hey, Aldous, I said to his hello, you extra soldiers hey, to Dragon Bridge. <sighs> Thank you, your whatever. Passive. What about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Varnius. You can rest easy. You're dismissed. Cave, wait, were you talking about a dungeon? You mean the Dragon Bridge issue? There have been reports of weird happenings near Wolfskull Cave. Travelers disappearing, odd lights. I suspect wild animals, or perhaps bandits. Well, you're incompetent. I don't think it's worth our time with the war going on. Yeah, screw those dead travelers. But if you want to clear out the cave, I'll make sure you're repaid for your work. Dungeon for money sounds good. Maybe he'll ask about the Plagius thing when he gets back. Plus, the weather's turning nice. Today turned out pretty good after all. Excuse me, but would you be the one they call Rogue? Yeah, that's me. What do you want? Oh, mighty Dalos, praise your name. I have cleansed this field from Tamri. May he rot in oblivion 
from now and to eternity. Stupid priest. Not bad, Rogue. For pathetic data worshipper, at least. I admit, I felt that a little bit. But the might of Talos is not so easily defeated. No blasphemous hammer can defeat my mace. Made from the bones of my own parents after I slaughtered them for daring to side with the Empire against Talos. You hit hard, but Rogue hits harder. Ready to dance for real, yellow man? Born ready, you green filth. Oh. My. God. You're both here. You're really both here. Rogue and Bjorn at the same place at the same time? The world's deadliest orc in the Mad Priest of Talos? Are you guys fighting? Oh my god, that is so cool. Hey, it should be whoever wins gets to make me the apprentice. And who do you think is going to win? Because Rogue likes two things, treasure and killing. Right? But Bjorn is all, I am blessed with the might of Talos. Which I think is maybe just something you say and isn't really a thing. I mean, no offense, of course. Hey, does that mean that if you lose, Daedra is stronger? Not that you're Daedra Road, but that him is kind of Daedra. Do you think Bjorn's height gives him the advantage? Because he's bigger than any Nord I've ever seen. But maybe that would only matter if you guys are going unarmed. And besides, I'm pretty sure that Nord bones don't make the strongest mace. <laughs> and i be honest, that kind of killed the mood for me. Yeah, Rogue isn't feeling it now, either. Kill you, lady, you filthy blasphemer. Crush you later, stupid priest. It's been a crazy few days. Learned how to shout. Sold the major staff to Keef. Went to jail a few times. Researched Skuma and Moon Sugar. That was a mistake. But right now, Rogue is ready for his two favorite things. Treasure and killing. doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. <laughs> 